In this video, we're going to learn how to delete missing values from our data set. So to work with a specific data set, I'm going to do DF, and then I'm going to do a data set called air quality. This is a data set that's already available in R, so you should be able to run this code. As long as you have tidyverse loaded into your environment, you should be good to run this. So if I run this, I can now look at my data frame and you can see that this basically has ozone, solar readings, wind, temp, month, and day. And so what I can do is I wanna look at a summary of this data frame. So I'm gonna do summary of DF in my console because this isn't something I really need to keep and go ahead and run that. And what you can see is that in this summary, it will actually tell you the number of values that are missing here. So this is a way to figure out what values are miss or which columns have missing values. So NAs represent missing values. And what happens with this is this can throw off a lot of our data and we need to know how to treat these missing values. So what I'm going to do is I can run something called a box plot and I'm going to run it on DF ozone. So if I run this, you can see it generates a box plot over here and gives me these kind of readings over here. So what I want to do is be able to remove. So this is automatically removing those NAs out of this. And I want to be able to go ahead and completely remove all the NAs. So what I can run is I'm going to do a DF drop. I'm going to set this equal to DF. I'm going to use the pipe operator again. If you don't know how to use that, check out that tutorial. And then what I can do is run a function called drop na. And then it needs its parentheses after to denote that it's a function. So if I run this, I'm going to get a new one. And you can see that this has dropped. It had 153 observations and now it has 111. So if I look at this, let's run a summary on it. We can run a summary on df drop. And when we look at this, we see that we have no NAs anymore. So basically what drop NA is going to do is remove any row that has an NA in it at all. Now, we may not always want to do that because maybe we're only looking at solar R. So if we look above, we can see that solar R only had seven NAs, where ozone had 37 NAs. So if we only are looking at solar R, we don't need to drop off all of the columns that have missing values in ozone. We just need to drop off the columns that have missing values in solar.r. So what we can do instead is I'm going to do df drop solar, and I'm just going to do df my pipe command again and do drop na. And now what I'm going to do is within the parentheses, I'm going to specify the column that I actually want to drop the values from. So I'm going to do solar.r and I can run this. So now if I look at summary of df drop solar, you can see that solar.r has no missing values, but ozone still has a lot of missing values still in it. And you can run the same thing doing it on ozone and not solar.r. So this is the way where you can essentially be able to drop off any of the rows that have missing values in it, and you can specify it for the specific columns that you want to drop off those rows for.